Good morning. It's Tuesday. You hear that? That's the sound of a tractor running, finally. Uh, anything that sits more than a week, it seems like, in the winter has a dead battery. So it took us a while to get it started, but we got that uh, 8R started. It's been sitting back there. It's hooked up to our uh, old 512 disc ripper, which we have sold. Our uh, guy just hasn't picked it up yet. So Brock's going to go unhook that out back, and we're going to take the tractor up to Jonesville to uh, Green Marker John Deere dealer, and they're going to fix a... Uh, worn out steering cylinder um, barrel. So, yeah. I am trying to clean up our bench here a little bit. We got all these parts from that uh, power lift on the farm all that. Well, I got to find some seals, and I don't need this stuff to just be sitting all over. So I'm cleaning and consolidating as much as I can. I'm going to put it all in a pile over here for now. Um, but we'll at least have a little more room to work. I'm imagining Dad's going to want to try and weld up that cutting edge on the uh, backhoe here real quick. So I'm trying to clear off the welding table is what we're doing. Okay, Brock just uh, took off with the tractor, and that tractor goes 31 miles an hour on the road, so while it's going to take him a little longer to get there than me, I've got a couple other stops we've got to make, so we better get moving. It's not real riveting video moving equipment around, so Brock made it up to the John Deere dealer, and I picked him up, and now we're at Berkey. And we're going to try and see if the 8430 is going to start here. So this is the last of the, what I'm going to call important tractors to make it through the shop. Not that the 4440 is not important, it just doesn't contribute to field work very much. Uh, this one still does. Now, we don't use it a lot, but we use it enough that we need to make sure it's in good shape. So we'll take it back, do the oil change and cleaning and all the stuff that we need to do. See if she's gonna start. Oh yeah, beautiful. Excellent. I just looked at the filters on the other side, which I guess they're fuel filters, not oil, engine oil, but uh, uh, we did not change them last year, so I'll have to look in the book and see if we did engine oil, but we didn't do fuel filters. We may have skipped service last year, not skipped, but just, you know, held off because we didn't put enough hours on it, which means that it definitely needs done this year. So uh, we're going to get that out, let it run for a second, and then probably go grab some lunch before Brock heads, uh, heads back with it. Yeah, we do have this little tractor tucked in the corner here. I think it's a Farmall A. And, um, well, it runs. This is like a, a series newer than what my F12 is, I think. I think this is from the early 40s. But I could be wrong. It's got a mower deck on it. It doesn't have enough horsepower for a mower deck. <laughs> Our lawnmower's got more power than this tractor, but it appears somebody's been using it, doing some mowing. Got Brock some lunch. Dropped him back off at the tractor and uh, we're gonna head back to Waldron. We also made a quick stop into a Napa store while we were here and driving past one to see if they could uh, find anything on those uh, seals for my um, power lift. No such luck. They, I gave them the part number, they couldn't cross that with anything. I gave them the specs, the dimensions, the uh, shaft diameter, the uh, OD of the seal, all that kind of stuff, and they had one that we think would fit, but it's more of an axle seal for grease, not pressurized oil, and so I got the part number from that, but that was all they could find for me, and I don't know, we're going to have to keep looking, I guess. I stopped to talk to somebody for a while, and Brock passed me. I caught him. He's getting tired of driving tractors on the road. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have 70 miles in a tractor today. Between the two trips. This one's not as fast as the other one though. It'll take him a little longer. Oh, better go. Well, we both made it back. Um, Brock had other stuff going on the rest of the day, so he is taking off. We're gonna worry about servicing this another day. 
I don't know that we have a ton to do to it. Uh, we need to look in the book and see what the hours were last year and what exactly we did. Like I said, I know we didn't do fuel filters over here um, because that one says 127 of 22. Our engine oil filter is leaking, so we need to probably at least tighten that. We'll probably change the engine oil and, and fix that as well. Um, and then I do know that some of our hydraulic barrels here, couplers, these inserts are leaking because this tractor will leave a puddle on the floor every time you use it. Um, I replaced the bottom two this spring or fall or not long ago. So I don't think it's those. We might, just looking at them, these ones are shiny and these ones are shiny and these two are not. So maybe um, we just need to replace those other four couplers there and see if that helps fix the problem. But essentially, oil gets around the seals in there and then it drains through the housing down this tube and drips down on the ground. And I would like to try and clean that up and fix it and make it stop. But I don't know exactly which ones are the problem. This project is basically at a standstill again. Um, the only thing I'm really trying to do yet is get these seals that we've talked about. Once I can find those, we're going to put that back together and put it on there and then leave it until next year. Or at least until the next time I get a chance to work on it. So um, I'm thinking about just taking this one half to our local auto parts store, letting them look at it and seeing if they can find me anything that might work. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do, but we'll figure something out. Other than that, I need to haul some trash back to the woods because it's about dry out, so we can do that and clean a few things up here today. Local guys for the win. Pioneer Auto. Took a while. Took a long while to sit there and measure the seals and go through the book and the part numbers and try and find something that will work, but we found something that might work. They have they have a seal. It's a it's not as wide. It's a single seal, but but it's like half the width. We might be able to stack two of them and make it work. So I had them get me a couple. We're gonna look at them and make sure that we think they will work before we tear one of these apart. And if it does work, they can get me a couple more. They're pretty pretty cheap to try. So I'm gonna keep doing my internet searching in the meantime. But um, it's never even gonna get used. It just needs to not leak. That's all. That's all. It is really nice out for February. Mid 40s, sunshine, beautiful. Anyway, we gotta get the uh, 7520 out and haul some cardboard back to the woods and set it on fire. It's always a good time. We've dried out fairly well over the last week. I was hoping it wasn't too muddy back here, but in the shade by the trees, still pretty muddy. All right, I'm working on some more just kind of general cleaning some stuff up and putting it away type of things. Uh, these are all the tools from working on the steel in my barn yesterday. Dad uh, has been on vacation this week, actually left the middle of last week. Uh, they're out in Utah. He's doing some sightseeing with some family and visiting his siblings that are out there and stuff. So, uh, I've been using stuff, but they come home on Thursday, and uh, he's going to need some tools, I think, some of this stuff, and I am going the opposite way. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I'm going to be gone, so I wanted to make sure that I had everything back for him if he's going to need it. Doing a little more organizing in here. I had a few pallets of bagged beans that came yesterday that we couldn't get in there because the man lift was in the way. Uh, so I'm getting those stacked away a little bit better. I do have a truck coming tonight. I believe it has just a couple boxes of corn for me and uh, maybe a pallet of bags or something. Not a lot of seed on it. Would you believe me if I told you there's just as much seed in that stack of three pallets as there is in a stack of three boxes, even though it's a whole box height shorter? Yeah, there is. Um, but it doesn't really take up more space to put it in boxes because the footprint is actually bigger on the pallets. They're a little bit longer than the boxes are, and so you can't stack as many of them in there. So, plus I don't have to handle bags when I have boxes. It's 
much better. I guess since I got a truck coming, I should just leave this over here by the door. All right, well, I am going in because I got some packing to do. So, um, no videos for the rest of the week for you guys, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. I may try and sneak in a uh, surprise live stream, which isn't a surprise now that I told you, but um, towards the end of the week. We will see how my schedule allows, but uh, my wife and I are, are getting on a jet plane in the morning and uh, heading off. Uh, as much as I like to, 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 to give my, my seed company over here a hard time for some of the things that they do, um, they do treat me extremely well and uh, I am proud to work with them and be a dealer for them and they are sending me on uh, another trip for another round of meetings, part of, um, part of a group that I, I have no business being on, frankly. Um, but they seem to value my opinion and want me to be a part of it. And so uh, they're sending me on the third trip of the year. And we've covered three out of four corners of the continent at this point. I'll give you more details when we get back. But um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited. And uh, we'll be back next week to make some more videos. Uh, hopefully, like I said earlier, getting the planters in the shop. That's the plan. And we're going to start picking up big time with seed business stuff and start doing some deliveries and, and I'll uh, let you guys know where we're at with that whole process as well. I know I said something a long time ago about uh, uh, needing to upgrade trucks to pull that and you haven't seen any new pickups show up. So what are we going to do, right? I've got a plan. We'll talk about it next week. Have a great rest of your week and weekend if I don't do a live stream and um, we'll see you when we get back. Thanks for watching everybody. 8.30 at night unloading trucks. A couple boxes of corn, a couple pallets.